Good. I'm good. And are you feeling one hundred percent healthy now? I am. Yeah. I mean, there's just some conditioning things. Uh, you know, I took about three months off, so uh, just trying to get back in the flow of things right now. You look forward to going overseas with all the different, I don't know, food and everything. I mean, are you are you going to adjust okay? Yeah. I mean, I, I you know grew up in Japan, which is kind of close to where we're going, so I kind of understand the cultural differences, and it's going to be an experience for all of us, but we'll both do it together, it'll be a fun time. If there's one teammate you could see maybe handling it, uh, maybe not handling it well, is there one guy that you could see struggling with the food and all the... I'm trying to think. <laughs> uh, I feel like Frank is just going to be new to everything, and he speaks his mind, so we're going to hear every experience that he goes through out there. And then what do you think of your impact for uh, the summer? Um, you know, I feel like we all have a chance to contribute. I just hope, uh, you know, I can get out there and play well. Uh, the main goal of the summer is just to win and get better as a team. So I think we'll all have a chance to get out there and contribute to that. What are you trying to work on to become a better player right now? Uh, offensively, becoming a threat on the block. Um, towards the end of the season, I got a lot more comfortable just being out there playing defense, rebounding, and all that. Um, now it's just, you know, offensively, when I catch it back to the basket, being able to either, you know, make a move, get fouled, score, draw, help defense, and create something out of that. So I'm um, definitely working on that in practice um, every day. When I think towards the end of last year, when you got some more minutes and kind of played pretty well, was there some a key to that? I mean, something that made you feel comfortable or something that kind of helped you? Um, you know, just kind of getting out there and playing uh, free was helpful. And then the one game that probably helped the most was probably Oklahoma, just going out there and, uh, you know, just playing. And it felt like, a, uh, you know, I, I got a lot of time in that game and, and uh, had a pretty good performance and knew that, I, you know, what I was capable of doing on the court. So that really helped going into the end of the season, the postseason. Uh, there was still some stuff that I needed to work on and stuff that I needed to, uh, you know, do better. But as far as just being comfortable on the court, I feel like towards the end of the season, I definitely felt as comfortable as I have been since I've been here. You've probably been resting a lot since the season, but this summer, what, what kind of specifically do you want to work on or maybe improve a little bit? Um, like I said, the offensive game. Um, pretty much just knowing when to. Um, I'm, I've always been the type of guy who uh, has understood the game and knowing where to catch the ball and how to catch the ball in position to score. I guess it's just more what to do with the ball after I catch it there. And so, um, you know, right now just working on becoming more of a, you know, a threat and having a mindset to uh, draw attention to myself once I do catch in that position and finish it around the rim. Um, and then if I don't have anything, to fan it off and uh, you know, try to get teammates shot. So that's something I've been working on a lot. Um, and then just always, I'm always into uh, getting better with rebounding and all that. So. Last summer you played uh, overseas. Uh, what, what was that like and how has this team adjusted to the, the time, the 24 second clock and, and any other world yeah. games? Yeah, you know, it's different. It's one of those things where it's, it's going to take time. and. You, you played one way for so long to just switch it um, on a dime is kind of it's kind of tough, but it'll be something that we'll have to overcome. And uh, I know last year the team I was on, we we did a pretty good job at doing that, and you could see the progression as the games went on. So if we can go out there and just play hard early on, uh, hopefully all these scrimmages that we have before the uh, first official game will help out. But uh, we'll, we'll get better as it goes along. Have you been to South Korea? I have not, no. I've been, uh, like I said, to southern Japan, which is pretty close, I think, map-wise, but uh, no, I haven't been in Korea before. Is there any similar things in the language? Like, can you, when you see Korean words, does it make sense a little you bit? You know what? Not at all. No. Uh, I mean, maybe some, but we've, we're, we're taking a class yeah. in, in Korean, and, and I've been, you know, I, I think they've, Japan was, 
really involved with them early on, I guess, and they've kind of tried to get as far away from that as possible with their language. So I don't see too many similarities at all. Um, so I've, I've looked for some that maybe catch on some things, uh, but I haven't seen any. I mean, one of the things I like really respect about you is the way you like appreciate other cultures and kind of like really take charge of like all the experiences that you've had. Do you think that's kind of going to be like your role a little bit? Like you talked about Frank will probably like you know voice whatever opinions he has and stuff, but you're always like good about getting people like kind of buy in and grasp like what a cool experience this is. Can you kind of see that? Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, I feel like it's one of those things that he'll 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 notice it himself too, just being over there. But uh, yeah, I definitely push it because this is one of those things that I mean, without basketball, a lot of us wouldn't be able to do. And so, uh, just appreciate it, have fun while we're out there, and I feel like it'll end up being a good trip for all of us. How has Hunter been playing? Uh, Hunter's been good. He's always been good. Ever since he's been here, he's you know been somebody who's come in and practice, and uh, he can shoot the ball very well. And I feel like, um, you know, he's made good strides and um, he'll be a good player. Do you think this trip could be a great springboard for the season? It'll be great. It'll probably be the best best thing that could have happened to us as far as, uh, you know, this summer. If we were just doing normal workouts right now and stuff, it, it wouldn't compare to uh, uh, being able to practice and then going over there and playing games together. It's something that we really needed, especially because we're trying to get back to, uh, you know, the way Coach Self wants to play offensively and defensively. Will you have more depth in the front court this season, especially once Diallo is in, in the mix? Yeah, we will. I mean, it's, it's weird to say that because I feel like the last couple of years we've, we've had that kind of depth, but this year will be an insane amount of people who have either started here, started at other schools, Hunter started at Ar Arkansas, uh, mixed in with all Americans. Um, it's probably one that you know most teams you know, would be very fortunate to have. And, and we are fortunate. It'll be fun for us. I think it'll make us all better going into this season. Will you all be able to play a little bit more aggressively as a big man, you think, since there's more depth? Or yeah, more? yeah, I think so. I think, uh, you know, whenever you have four, just four, you can play pretty aggressive. But now we have, I think, six. Um, and so definitely aggressive uh, will, will improve, and hopefully it will get people to, you know, go out there and play hard knowing that, uh, you know, if you go out there and you don't, there's somebody who's ready to come in and do that. So. Have you had to give up your hobbies this summer, golf? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's been <laughs> hot outside too, so I haven't been able to golf too much. Uh, yeah, yeah. Golf, golf has, has gone down this summer, but the good thing is, after we get back from this trip, we should have a little bit of a break before we get started. So all of those uh, hobbies that we like to do, we should be able to get back to those. So it's just a grind for these, you know, four or five weeks, and then, and then we have a nice little break after that. What's your best round ever? Best round? I shot 79 one time, mm. which is like really good for me. Um, you know, for the pros and stuff, it's not. But uh, it was out at Falcon Ridge, which is down the down the road. But uh, I'm usually in the 90s, so that was a really good day. Yeah. Thanks, man. Thanks, 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 thanks.